Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. I'm the Mysterious JG. And, um, it's been a little while since I played. Uh, our stopping point last time was... We were sort of trying to figure out, um... Whether I was gonna ditch Veronica, Veronica, Veronica. Whether we were gonna ditch Veronica and, um take on a nightkin as a companion, which would probably be the first step towards me trying to get all the companions and just do their side quests and then get Veronica back for the end game. Because, you know, Veronica and Eddie, they're pretty much my companions. Um, the NCR took back Nelson. Maybe they can win this war after. Yeah, it'd be pretty sweet. But, um, I kind of decided in the meantime, well, you know what, I probably had off screen that I needed to get done too, didn't I? Well, maybe not. I... I don't have a ton of stuff to sell that I'm aware of. I've decided I pretty much uh, what I can do is if I get to the point where we're ready to really go into the end game, uh, I can pull back and do that. And I'll throw it out there now. I need the people who are still watching this LP to give me some feedback on how much more they want to see. Because I never intended to do everything you could do in this game. But now that I'm thinking about it, I had said I'll probably do the um, added content. I'm like... There's other games I want to get to, uh, specifically the Mass Effect series, that I don't want to start until I finish this, because, you know, they're all time-consuming games, and with this, it's pretty tasty. How am I doing for food? For foods. Food libraries. A yeah, Bloatfly slider would... I mean, I weren't hungry anymore, and it would be significantly less thirsty. And I love that dirty water. Um, food libraries. Yeah, no, if I uh, went ahead and took care of... Um, if I, blah, by the time I get to Mass Effect, I want to be kind of done with this. Um, because, you know, they're both kind of story-intensive, RPG-ish, first-person shooter-y. They're, they're, they're kind of... The, that relatively new genre that kind of molds together the RPG and the first-person shooter. Um, although, I don't know that Bobo can watch any of them. He gets motion sick from the some of the uh, first-person type of games. And Mass Effect has that over-the-shoulder third-person slash first-person. But uh, yeah, I kind of want to be done with this before I move on to Mass Effect. And if I do all three Mass Effect games, they'll take forever too, but... Maybe I could get this one to a position where I win the game with Veronica as my companion, kind of park it there, play Mass Effect, at least till the end of Mass Effect 1, and then I can come back and do some follow-up on this, where I do other uh, companions or the add-on content. As I kind of vaguely promised I would do the add-on content, but now I'm second-guessing it. Like, I don't really know how much more I can do with this game. I've enjoyed the game, but I've been playing it a lot. I've now been playing it because I recorded a bunch before I went overseas. I wasn't playing it while I was gone, but the LP has been going on for well over a year. Easily the longest term LP I've done, and under special circumstances. I don't expect another LP to ever be stretched across as long a time on my channel as this one was. But it, it has to end. So you guys let me know. Would you like to see more? Would you like this to keep going? Would you like me to do kind of everything? I mean, obviously, if you're patient enough to still be watching the LP, even if a lot of people who are watching now probably haven't been watching from video one, You've accepted the fact that I do a lot of meandering and side quests and have not been focusing in on the main story, but we could get to the end of the main story, see an ending, and then I can pick up from a save right before we finish to go back and get other companions and stuff. I, what I'm getting at is I don't think I'm going to do the Nightken stuff in Jamestown yet. I think it might finally be time to go to New Vegas. Although one thing I want to do before I go to New Vegas is yes, I really do plan to get going with New Vegas during this play session. This might be a good chance for us to go. Um, we are liked by the Great Cons, but maybe it's time to become idolized by the Great Cons. <laughs> or to advance those plots a bit. Uh, didn't we talk to... I know that when we talked to the followers of Apocalypse, and uh, that town whose name I forgot. I keep jumping. I'm, I'm pressing a button that in a game I've been playing more recently would take us to the menu. Monte Carlo Sweets. Freeside. At Freeside, we have been um, 
talking to people who know a little bit about great cons history and or also uh there's that guy who really wanted us to get him into the uh i guess we could do the mission where we talk to the mercenaries Kill Caleb McCaffrey, Birds of a Feather. Talk to Papa Khan. Talk to Ezekiel about the history of the Great Khans. And there was the guy who wanted to join the the followers. Jerry. So let's see if we can find Jerry. Jerry's over here somewhere. In the south, southerly sort of direction. But yeah, we're back in the Great Khans camp, which is where the Great Khans live. Great Father, why you send Sima Shur and Sima Shao to big battle? And why me call you Sima and not Suma? Yeah, the place is kind of a hassle to move around. Oh, yourself, Veronica. Veronica. This is just a generic great con. A not so great con. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if the great cons... I, I guess generally doing quests for anybody in a group makes them like you, but... Silver. Silver what? I don't know. I don't know how much they'll really like us for like taking away a member. Although it is Jerry. Maybe I should write something about how much the great cons suck. Maybe they'll love us for getting rid of Jerry. What? Followers have agreed to take you on as a member. Head to the old Mormon fort. Yeah, no, they. You, I'm. I'm right. The great cons are gonna love us when we get rid of this douchebag. They did. Oh, that's great. Thank you. I'm out of this crummy camp. I mean, you're it. Anything else to say? You know. I'm so much happier now. So I got experience. I didn't gain any great con points. Trading con points for great con prizes. And now I can deliver a package for the man at this location. I don't know if he's... I can't remember now if this is a great con mission or not. I think it is. Birds of a feather? No, I'm not sure. Now I'm just like fast slapping on a round. Which is, of course... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Oh, golden geckos. Whatever. I thought maybe we jumped into a plot ambush. And I hadn't bothered to figure out what the mission we were doing right now is really about. Barrels. I want to move past them fairly quickly. I think Eddie and Veronica can take care of this. That gave me a little bit of a scare, honestly. Alright, so the situation seems to be dealt with. It's just more of these douchebags. They've learned to take advantage of cover. Plus 75 experience getting a lot of experience, it seems like. I mean, I knew my companions would never let it get close to me, but... Yes, that's right, I killed you. <laughs> By shooting at you and missing several times, I killed you. 
by luring you into attacking me so others would kill you. I killed you. Alright, it's the middle of the night. We're on the dangerous wasteland. Let's uh, put our weapon away and run. And I'm pressing and holding the trigger because somebody mentioned that that works and causes you to pull your weapon out automatically. Somebody else had complained about me making that clicking noise all the time. Although I doubt that it works because, yeah, when I go back to my normal technique... Maybe you have to have your weapon out before it works. I'm detected by who? Yeah, whatever. They think I mean. Yeah. Strange man. It's a strange man with a strange plan. Are you the Van Graaff's emissary? I am. Okay, this has nothing to do with the, the cons. I am. Do you have what we requested? It's right here. Huh. Then our business is concluded. Tell your superiors that we will contact them shortly. Forget what I, we're actually supposed to do with all that, but now I'm like... That wasn't... I thought we were going to do some great con stuff. So, my bad. I thought that was a drug delivery. I... The problem is that it's really hard to, uh, to read the quest stuff that you've already done, so... Talk to Ezekiel about the history of the Great Cons. Return to Diane for your payment. Oh, we're supposed to deliver drugs to the... We were supposed to be delivering drugs to uh, the, the caravan guys. Well, I mean, if we were honest, good people, we wouldn't agree to help with that, but what the hell do we care, huh? little ditty about Jack and Diane <laughs> delivering, delivering drugs across the Mojave Wasteland. It's southeast of here. This soulful music is very reminiscent of the film Werewolf by Tony Zarendast or whoever it was. Oh, neat. That fiend is already wounded. Interesting. Make sure I leave this fiend a little bit. Or not. <laughs> Smiley face. Sneak crack critical. I gained karma. They're not good people, the fiends. I mean, they really aren't. They killed the people in that vault. They just, like, went in there and butchered them. And there really doesn't seem to be any reason. They're, rather than just kick them out, they had to kill them. Spooky, spooky, spooky music. I'm not creeping around as much. Cause I'm a lot less worried about being killed in combat than I ever used to be. Used to be terrified of it. Just, well, not terrified, but it's, yeah, the idea was that you really had to be careful in all combat situations. Whereas now it's more like, eh, I mean, it's possible to get way in over your head, but oh, the Hostetler home. Sorry, I just uh, hit the microphone. Vaguely keep an eye out for landmines and stuff, but uh. There's 
No need to wake the missus. Oh, you sleep in your suit. Hello there. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company. How can I help you today? He's dressed like that evil guy from Fallout 3 who wants to blow up Megaton. I got a package here from your friends Jack and Diane. Huh? Oh, oh, right, yeah. Uh, I'll take that. Uh, you should go now, before you draw any attention. I didn't ask him about Alice. I wonder what that would have done. Need anything? I've got to talk to you about Alice. I don't know who that is, because I don't remember. I really don't have time for this right now. Have time to tell me about any work you need done? You know, hiring isn't really my department. You should talk to Miss McLafferty about work for hire. Who are you? The name's Hostum. Okay. So I delivered his drugs, and apparently that's all I can do with him. Either that or I just totally missed a major plot point because it's been so long since I played, and I totally broke the game and blah blah blah, but I don't think so. I think we're fine. I just need to go back to the drug lab where our good friends Jack and Diane are. This is really our best chance to become idolized amongst the Great Cons. Which, even though the Great Cons were the gangbangers who were working for Benny and helped him try to whack me, I still, it's one of my great goals in this game is to become idolized by the Great Cons. Hey. Hey. Huh? Graycon's gonna set himself on fire and breathe his last. Nice robot. Hope no power drivers tonight. See, they really live the good life, the Graycons. Did you make that delivery yet? I don't know why I just pulled out the gun, but... I finished the Crimson Caravan run. Great. Here's your payment. I finished the Vault 3 run. <laughs> And you didn't even get skinned alive. I'm impressed. Here's your payment. New unarmed trip. Technique. Con trick. You've learned the con special move. To use this technique, initiate a power attack while moving left to right. You will scoop up a handful of dirt and throw it in enemy's face, momentarily distracting them. And now her lips move. Okay, I guess those guys I was killing for 50 experience wasn't that big a deal. Any new jobs for me? Not right at the moment. But you could talk to Jack. He's always looking for new recipes. So, about the Alliance of Caesar's Legion. Don't worry, Jack and I have talked it over. We'll talk up the idea of breaking the Alliance. See you later. Bye. So we could talk to Jack, but I don't think he's got anything hey. new. Hey, you just woke up my girlfriend. I guess it's time to wake up me, huh? Douche. Hey, what's up? I'm here to ask you to publicly oppose... Oh, it's cool, man. Diane passed me the haps on that Fandango with Anders. I got your back. That's cool, man. Diane tells me what to think. I have a few recipes I can teach you. Right on. What have you got? I can teach you to make super stim packs. Right on. Let's have it. Oh, okay, cool. Oh. Grudalicious. That ought to rake in the caps. What do I owe you? No charges helping out. Right on, right on. You're a pretty hip cat. I gained karma for helping the Great Cons. Although I'm helping them make medicine as opposed to drugs. Well, if I could find a survival... Uh, survival plus five would be enough for me to teach him one more thing, but... Goodbye. Take it easy, dude. Yay, we're idolized by the Great Khan. Great Khan hate everyone. Great Khan kill all, except for, uh, you know, strange delivery guy. He's awesome. Around for your existence, around for your extensive support and goodwill, you're idolized by the community. Pretty cool. Hey, what's up? How's the medical work going? Already on it. I whipped up a few stim packs already, but if you've got any more recipes, I'll take them. I was wondering if he'd say anything different. Take it. He might have better prices for me now that I'm idolized, but I, I doubt it. 
Will they say anything different, or is it just going to be more nice robot? <laughs> okay, so for what it was worth, I'm now idolized by the great cons. Uh, da, 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 da. Purified water. I knew I had water somewhere. Steel flower. <laughs> yeah. Steel flower away from Stephen Richards. He'll be very upset. Okay, forget it. I'll have other chances to see uh, what it's like to be idolized by the great cons. Particularly because at some point I'm going to have to come back here after Oh My Papa. Talk to Ezekiel about the history of the great cons. Where was Ezekiel? I thought Ezekiel was in Freeside. But maybe not. Jacob's town. Oh, he's at the trading post, okay. Which I believe is where I will have to go whenever I get around to trying out the other companions and uh, leaving Veronica. I'll have to come back here to get Veronica back. Hi, Veronica. I'm planning on leaving you, but don't worry, it's not permanent. Now oh, my dehydration level has increased again. Are you Ezekiel? I hear a troublesome Legion camp got raised to the ground. I'm staring at you blankly. Back for more? I see we have for sale. If I got purified water, I will buy it. Otherwise, I'm not really that interested. No, I'll buy their dirty water. What do I have that I can sell? I'm sure I got some stuff I don't need. I don't think there's any good use for bitter. Whatever. I got ten of these, huh? Maybe I already got rid of this stuff that I'm not going to use. This gives you some interesting boosts. I don't usually play around with drugs in this game. Trail mix. Turbo, you're not going turbo, are you? Hmm. Well. Give me a shot if you need anything. Give me a shot. Let me know where you're at. So, hey, hey. I guess at this particular moment, I'm not, like, insane about maxing my cash. Although, eventually, I'm going to want to buy another implant or two. Uh, so, let's go ahead and have some more of that dirty water. Maybe even two. So, where the hell is Ezekiel? Usually, one of them is asleep. They have a pretty rough life, actually. They live in this thing, selling whatever the hell crap they can find, and uh, doesn't one of them usually? Yeah, that's Samuel, not Ezekiel. Hey. What do you mean, hey? Are you upset that I'm like rummaging around in your living space? <laughs> yeah, I suppose that would bother you. Ezekiel, we're trying to find, right? I guess he's a little ways north, really, of all this fun. Are you that gunrunner? We did find a gunrunner dude wandering around here who was kind of interesting one to chat Hello. to before. Hey. Hello. Hey, man. You a CQ? Yeah. You look like someone with a question. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? I'm not sure who this guy is. I think we're supposed to know. Julie Farkas said you might know something about the Great Cons. 
Oh my, yes. They're a fascinating tribe with a long oh, and my, unfortunately my. Oh, tragic hell history. Yes. Their original oh, incarnation, much farther out west, was almost completely wiped out by one of those itinerant heroes so common in the post-war years. Fucking asshole. Then, of course, the Probably new Khan grimace. suffered a similar fate. Some say at the hands of the same hero. Though, of course, the dates are all wrong for that. That's right, fucking Grimoth went in there with his fucking plasma rifle. And he's like, great father, huh? <laughs> Why do this, motherfuckers? This is fascinating. Please continue. Well, after they migrated to the Mojave, we established relations with them. But that soured when all they wanted was to make drugs. Sour drugs. The NCR eventually took them down quite a bit. But the really fascinating thing about them is the origin of their culture as a whole. You they're see, really, they're actually assholes, but the culture as a whole is good. I, I actually want to hear this. It won't give me that option. Can I get the abridged version? Oh, of course. I'm sorry. I do tend to get wrapped up in my own theories and forget that not everyone finds them as fascinating as I do. <laughs> Here, I salvaged this book from an old library. It's a history of people called the Mongols. I think that's what the Khans built their culture on. You should read it. It's fascinating stuff. But they were Mongols. They were Mongols. I appreciate how you've been helping us so far. My voice just changed dramatically because they didn't program me anything to say after you finished my quest. At least he doesn't go, Later! Because that would be creepy. That would be really creepy. Alright, so I said in this play session we get to New Vegas. I didn't say this video. But yeah, I think once we've dealt with Papa Khan, Papa Khan, Papa Khan, Papa Khan, Papa Khan, yeah, once we've dealt with Papa Khan, we'll be out of Khan-related quests, and that was kind of what was holding me up here at this point. Now that I've decided I'm not going to mess with the other companions, until I at least get Veronica her dress. If I get Veronica her dress and we're not done in New Vegas yet, then... Your friend's cute. Is she single? See, they kind of, I think that was a little bit nicer and more respectful than what they used to say, because now they idolize me. What you got to say, buddy? Huh? There he is. There's this guy. What's he going to do? It's always a pleasure to see you around the camp. You have a look at this book. If you want to see what your tribe could be, read about the Mongol Empire. You don't need to look around Mighty Khan. Oh, I could do the speech check now. But now I've got the trouble getting the book. Goodbye. Farewell. Well, let's see them both dialogue options, but uh, I'll take the one that actually gives me points. Although, honestly, I kind of feel like we should give him that book now that we've got it. But yeah, I couldn't pass the speech check before, and I... Ah, oh, you're back. What else do you need? We'll give him, first of all, we'll be the douchebag uh, approach. I should have you torn apart for speaking like that. But maybe you're right. The glory of the past is an empty dream. If the Khans are to be immortal, we must make our own destiny. We won't fight for Caesar, but when he strikes, we will ride out one last time. Cool. Alright. Let's be less douchey, but still use the book. The book. And then the last one we'll do is a speech check where we don't even use the damn book. I just went and got... Because we probably get something for not using the book. Ah, you're back. What else do you need? Have a look at this book. Hmm. This is exactly the kind of symbol the Khans could unite behind. We'll begin readying the camp to move. As soon as Caesar makes his move, we'll depart. We will make ourselves strong again, and we shall conquer. That sounds wise. I wish you the best. Hey, as long as you weren't fighting for Caesar, I don't care what you do. Whatever your motivation was, I think we owe you a debt. Alrighty. Ah, you're... Hmm. We'll begin... That sounds wise. I wish you the best. If you should ever tire of wandering alone, seek us out. Might just have the makings of a great con yourself. I'm too good for this penny any bullshit outfit. But uh thanks, I guess. And the other thing you can do is you can kill him um 
like you can snipe him so that nobody sees that you killed him, and then one of his subordinates takes over the cons. Ah, you're back. What else do you need? But as in most cases in Fallout, if you kill an important plot character, it kind of derails things. Like they, you know, you, they don't really have as much dialogue with a new leader as you would have had with him. You don't need to look outward, Mighty Khan. Your tribe is proud and strong. Claim your glory and raise your daughter to be an adorable little warrior. Well spoken, traveler. Well spoken indeed. Perhaps it's time to find our own destiny, unburdened by the past. We'll begin readying the camp to move. As soon as Caesar makes his move, we'll depart. We will make ourselves strong again, and we shall conquer. If you should ever tire wandering alone, seek us out. You know, actually, I think we are supposed to wait until the NCR asks us to break this alliance. Because I think we might be able to get them to fight for the NCR. Even. Hey, guys. Now. Ah, screw it. Ah, oh, you're. I can probably talk to him later. We'll be. Alright, well I won't save over the spot, but I think, yeah, screw it. I think if uh, if they really want us to try to get the cons to join them, I can probably talk them into it, but the not having the cons helping is going to, I, I, how am I going to get the cons to help the NCR? The NCR almost wiped them out. Boom. Boom. So I guess that's a good place to call it a video. When we come back, folks, um, we are idolized by the great cons and have convinced them not to side with Caesar's Legion, so it's pretty good. I, I can't think of anything else to do with the cons unless we want to try to personally take over. So uh, when we come back, folks, I'm going to head for New Vegas, and we're going to see if we can get Veronica addressed. I'm Sirius JG. I want to thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.